Good evening and welcome to Talks with Brian. Happy Sunday. It is so good to be back. It's been a minute. Today, I would like for us to discuss the grace of discernment, the power of discernment and why this word is so crucial, why this word is so important and why this grace is so um, paramount to practice and to embody. So that is what we're going to talk about today, the grace of discernment. To me, what this word means, what this word represents is, is us using our wisdom. It's us using our wisdom and our intuitive guidance to make a decision, a choice and to judge well. Okay, that is sort of my current definition of that word, using, using my intuitive guidance, using um, knowledge, using the grace of wisdom uh, for when I'm making choices and decisions. Um, so, yes, that, that is it. Now, why is this grace so important? We need it. We need this grace. And I think it's a word that we just don't talk about enough. And again, at Talks with Brian, we're here to inspire and to influence you to have a conversation, your own conversation, for you to dwell upon these reflections and make your own judgment as well. So, you know, that, you know, we're never, we're not saying that we're right or we're wrong. What we, what we're doing here is, hopefully giving you an opportunity to say, hmm, I never thought of it that way. Hmm, I'm going to dwell on this. I'm going to, I'm going to have a think about this. Uh, so it's important for me to emphasize that because that is really important. Um, so I'm just going to go into a, a little bit of a story. Uh, way back, way back in the summer, I remember um, just being in a situation where you know, I did not make, I, I didn't, I didn't discern the, this, this particular friendship that I was in or association or acquaintance. I wouldn't call this person a friend, but I was a, a well acquainted with somebody. I was well acquainted with somebody. And, you know, what happened was that later on, there was a little bit of a, maybe betrayal is a big word, but it was a, there was a disappointment and as I reflected on it, as I reflected on the situation and what happened, I said to myself, no, Brian, you did not discern this relationship. You didn't discern this, this friendship. You did not discern this. You were not using your wisdom. When you started to let you know um the, this person in and which is a good thing to do you know we're all brothers and sisters and we're all sharing an experience of life together but you know i wasn't using the grace of discernment i was judging the situation judging the person based on my perceptions just like we do in our personal relationships or in our friendships or in our marriages or whatever you know, at first we are judging things based on our jobs, in our careers, in our occupations. We're judging things by our perceptions, by what we can see from our physical eyes. We're judging things and people based on our five senses. That is not enough. That is not enough. Because you will then go back and think, okay, I, I definitely betrayed myself. I wasn't paying attention. I did not discern the situation at all. I did not discern the situation. I was making judgments based on fear. I was making judgments based on survival. I was making judgments based on scarcity. I was making judgments based on illusion. I got lost in an illusion here. I got lost. I was under some sort of spell, which meant that I did not give myself the opportunity to discern what was going on. I couldn't use the grace of wisdom. I couldn't. My heart and my and 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 and, and my heart and my mind were not congruent. They were not congruent, which meant which led me to the choices that I made. So when we go on and talk, when we go on and start talking about our self-inflicted suffering, 
We have to go back and think, okay, what were the choices? Well, how did I get here? Step by step, choice by choice. What was I not paying attention to? What did I not intuitively judge well, if that makes sense? Okay, because what we like to do is place the blame on somebody else. What we like to do is, you know, look everywhere besides ourselves. And then we get into a routine and a pattern and a cycle of going through the same thing again and again and again because we're not practicing the grace of discernment. You know, in my field of work, you know, you're, it's, 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 it's not cool, let's say. It's not cool to, you know, after you've, after you've booked a job and after you've auditioned or whatever, you know, it's uh, twice now when I've booked a job recently as my own agent, asking to go into the office, meet particular people, you know, so that I can have a sense of what I'm getting into, so that I can discern the situation uh, that, 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 that is not something that's normal. That is not normal. That's not done. And, you know, that's actually questioned. Believe it or not. You know, because one wants to make sure that, okay, this is what I learned from last time. And I want to do things differently this time. I want to do I want to do things differently this time. I need the grace of discernment to make this decision. You know, when you enter a new relationship or a new marriage or a new situation, I've got to do things differently. The reason why last time didn't work, I have to discern this differently. I've got to be completely aligned. Again, the grace of wisdom. I need my wisdom. I need to intuit intuitively, intuitively uh, read this. Take my time with this. Again, I can't get lost in the illusion. I can't get lost in the illusion. You know, so maybe I went, I can't remember now, but if I finished that story with that particular friend, you know, I had to sit myself down. I had to sit myself down and I said, okay, no, Brian, we're not playing the blame game here. We're not doing this pity party. You were not paying attention. Own it. You judged based on fear, based on scarcity, based on needs, based on illusion, based on agenda, whatever hidden agenda you had. Let's own it. We have to own this. You got yourself here. So don't do this, oh, I'm, I'm upset, or don't do this, oh, I'm betrayed, or woe is me. We're not going there. You did not discern this. You did not discern this at all. Same with the job. You know, don't be, don't be tempted by the shiny apple in the words of Tracy Chapman. Don't think, oh, well, this check is going to be nice or this is going to amplify my exposure. This is, this is it. This is whatever. This is going to be my next level. And you did not discern the situation because you were seeing things from a physical point of view. You know? When we get into friendships, when we get into business with people, when we get into business with people, and yes, there's an incredible idea, and there's this incredible chemistry, it's amazing or whatever, but again, you didn't discern it. You didn't use your wisdom. That's why you couldn't last six months or a year with this particular business partner or whatever. You didn't discern it. You didn't take your time. You know, when you are seeing certain energies and certain people or whatever, you know, without judgment, you got to say, okay, I need to discern this. I need to, do, I need to reflect on this. Intuitively, I don't think it's, the, it's, it's best for me to be in this particular environment today. I've got to reflect on this. 
You know, when this is when you, your, your vocabulary, your words become law. Words like reflection, words like congruent, is this congruent? Words like alignment, words like uh, grace. You know, this is why they say your words are law. Your words are law. So that is something that I want us to dwell upon this week. You know, am I a discerning person? Do I use the grace of discernment? And what is grace? Again, from our teacher, Caroline Mice, she says that grace is a force that is greater than yourself. Grace is a force that is greater than yourself. So am I in my grace here? Am I in my grace Because it's not enough to use my analytical mind, my logical mind. No, no, no. I need to be in my grace. A force that is greater than myself has to make these decisions. So I need the grace of discernment. Before I make this business deal. Before I take that offer. Before I go into that relationship. Before I go into that friendship. I need to discern this. I need to use my wisdom. I need to use the grace of wisdom now. Now I need to, I need to be graced up. Otherwise, I will do what I've always done before. And I'll... This is, this is crucial. This word has to become your friend right now. This word has to become your friend. Because no matter what... When you're in therapy or when you're catching up with friends or when you're trying to be truthful, you know, and you know that, okay, I can't blame anyone but myself. This is when accountability comes in. And you say, okay, I I didn't discern this well. I didn't use the grace of discernment. And that is why I'm hurt. And that is why I I got myself into that situation. And that is why I felt betrayed. I just didn't discern it. You know, I I wasn't thinking from a higher perspective. I wasn't using my wisdom. I wasn't using the grace of wisdom. Okay, so that is it for today. That is something worth, again, talking about. And like I said at the start of the video, I want us to talk about this with our friends and with our family. And most importantly, with with yourself when you go on your walk. So when you, you know, whenever you get a moment to be still and say, okay, am I practicing discernment? Every choice, every choice matters now. There's no such thing as a small choice anymore. As I embrace this path that I'm on, as I get more honest with myself, as I as I develop this relationship with thyself, as I get to know myself more, I realize that, okay, every single choice matters. There's no such thing as a small choice. There's no such thing as a small choice now. So I have to casually make discernment part of my, uh, it has to be part of my flow, part of my awareness. It's a word that just has to be part of my grace now. I've got to discern everything now. It's me making a promise to myself. It's a sacred contract. It's a promise to myself that, okay, through the grace of discernment, to the grace of discernment, all will be well. Because I'm intuitively reading the situation. I'm intuitively um, looking after myself and my soul. I'm intuitively present. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm conscious. And I'm surrounded by grace. All will be well. I will be okay if I discern, if I use the grace of discernment. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.
Bye.